area, Swindley Forest. Uh, it's near Bracknell, so probably the closest trail centre to London. London Surrey Hills, this is uh, that's all you've got. Um, so, there's three trails to choose from green, one mile, it's kind of your family friendly kids trail. Blue trail, uh, ugh. it's rubbish to be honest with you. Um, it's, you use it to get to the get to the red trail basically. Uh, red trail is it's reasonably decent. Now, what bring them over with Swinley? This rider, uh, so yeah, don't expect anything extreme. No big sense. If you're on a downhill bike, you bought the wrong tool for the job, definitely. Um, enduro bike, still a bit over bike. You're, you're best suited to a trail bike or even like a aggressive uh, hard tail bike. So. Uh, it's worth the pedal, it's good all year round, so it doesn't get too muddy. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just a nice thing, you know, it's well set up, there's a cafe. Good car park, get here early because it gets very busy, but yeah, let's uh, have a look. Uh, I'm going to try not to bore you too much with this blue route to get to the, uh, the red loop, just because it's really boring. So there's a few little descents on the blue. Um, they're not steep, don't worry about that. They are just enough to keep you keep you moving. You do have to sprint right if you want to go reasonably quick. But that's how it is. It's not steep here. As I said, it's very flat. You'll be surprised at the end of the ride how little climbing you've actually got done for how much of the physical output you've done actually. So they like mine. It's all right. Sun the music, though. Change your manual. And then up here again. So it's a lot like that, like short down bits, then back onto slight uphills. So here we are. And I hand my heart to say, this is why so many people skip the blue bit at Swinley. It just seems to go on forever and ever and ever. God, there's any rope around there. I want to hang myself. I'm so sick of this blue trail now. It tends to be quite badly signposted to, uh, to where you get onto the red trail. Um, I think you have to come up left here. No, you don't. No, you don't. That's 32. So, follow me, find the red trail. Part one, here we go. No strap, a shortcut for me. Well, maybe that was, I don't know. And then it flattens off, but there's a few good little bits like this dotted all over. But the next good bit is a bit called a labyrinth. And there's about four or five different short dino runs, big berms, a couple of tail tops, and I think it's the main attraction here really, so we're gonna check it out.
So, yeah, heading up to the start of the good bits here to swim in. It's, uh, it's what people come here for, really. It's so, so well used. It's, uh, it's a shame you have to go through a lot of blue trail to get to it, but yeah, we're going to take a look. Look how eroded it is. Look how gunny. Thousands and thousands of cars have come back here over the years, I imagine. Squeaky brakes. Oh, it's so lucky. The good thing about swimming is, it doesn't matter how good you are on a bike, if it's your first time mountain biking or uh, if you're okay on a bike, then uh, everybody can ride it. There's nothing too challenging, nothing you can't roll over, no big drops, no gaps. It's uh, rider friendly from everyone's point of view. On one of these. Very straight line. Oh, here we go. Big rocks. Burr. 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 Burr.
Oh, sorry, buddy. Cheers, thank you. Don't come to Swindley. Session a bit if you haven't bought your waterproof. I'm getting soaked. Essentially on route back to the car park now. Uh, so you left the lab zone before the little downhill tracks and you're back onto the red route. So a little bit of climbing. This is like the first bit of a descent to get to. Really. Let's give it a go. Great trail centre. Stones are slippery as anything after the bit of rain. Oh, back up. So after that torrential downpour and soak through, but as quick as it, quick as it came, it's gone. Nice, beautiful, blue skies. It's a lovely set of woods though. It is, it is nice. No heels have only used mine, but it is nice here. Swindley, you can kind of expect a bit of trail traffic. Uh, it's very popular. Please look at the segments of Strava. There's like thousands and thousands of people driving here. I wouldn't say it's like thousands of people riding here, what say, a week. So it's very busy, so expect some trail traffic. But as usual, be polite. Let them know you're, you're behind if you're catching them up there now. Yeah, hopefully they move over. If not, be a bit naughty. Want to go over and make a stop, but yeah, it's a busy, busy place, really. I think it's a bit easier to call the tank traps. And I kind of guess this is your home lake, really. Uh, as I said, remember the, the blue is a bit more family orientated, so it's not nothing to do. It's got a horrible surface still. This is just a fire road to get to the next section of blue, but oh boy, it is horrendous.
opportunities here. It's windy, it's pretty decent actually. Uh, got Swindley Bike Hub, which is a small little independent bike shop. Um, you can rent bikes here as well. You've got a half fleet, nothing uh, too extreme. Uh, there's bike wash as well. Some guys in the control through under. Um, and also you've got the outlet centre. And there's a go out here as well, so it's fun for the family. There's toilets and stuff. I don't know if there's changing, but I think there might be. But, uh, yeah, pumps, tools if need be, everything you need. Took a while to get around the controls and that place. Um, but yeah, got everything you need really. And, uh, yeah. Good day, lots of fun. It's been alright actually, Swindley, done this up front. Get here early. I got here about 9 o'clock and the car park was almost completely full. But look at the chaos of people trying to find car parking spaces. Madness, madness. It's so, it gets so, so busy here. So, so busy. If you get here after 10 o'clock, good luck in trying to find the car park space.